So to continue from my previous video, the third image formed further away from the lens than the object did and therefore it's magnified. The length of the arrow is longer. Now there is another case where the object is set at exactly the focal point. We're not going to draw that one today but under that circumstance when the object is at the focal point the two rays that we tend to draw, the one that goes parallel and then down through the focal point on the other side or straight through the middle do not actually ever meet. So there would be no image formed. And that situation, as it says on the uh, PowerPoint, is useful for things like searchlights, but no good for forming an image. An image doesn't form. Now, the fourth case that we will consider today is where the object is much closer to the lens than the focal point. The focal point is here. The object is here. I've already pre-drawn this one. We draw the rays as normal from the top of the object, the first one going parallel to the principal axis and then down through the focal point here, the second one from the top of the object straight through the centre of the lens and keeps going, and you can see that they do not converge. They do not form an image. Although they do form an image, but we need to track them back because they're diverging here, which means on the other side of the lens, they're coming closer together. Now, convention says that when we draw the rays going backwards from the object, we use a dotted line to remind ourselves that this is a virtual image. It's on the left side of the lens and any image formed on the left side of the lens is virtual. So this would be the case with a magnifying glass. If you were over here looking at through a magnifying glass, you'd see not the original object, but you'd see the magnified image of the object. And of course, you wouldn't be able to put a screen there, so it's a virtual image, because none of the rays actually travel to it. We're just seeing an image where it appears that the um, rays will cross. The object this time appears to be virtual. Sorry, the image appears to be virtual. This time it's upright. We can see that the, top of the, the rays from the top of the arrow are still at the top. And it's magnified, just like a magnifying glass. But if you tried to put a screen here or a camera here to capture the image, all you'd see would be, on this side, a magnified version of your camera or screen. So it's a virtual image for two reasons. One, it cannot be captured on a screen. And two, the rays of light do not actually touch the image. They only appear to. So a convex lens can give you different kinds of images. If they form on the right side of the lens, because the object is beyond the focal point, then they will always be real and they will always be inverted. If the object is further away than two times the focal distance, the image will be diminished if it's at exactly two times the focal distance, it will be the same size. If it's closer than two times the focal distance, but less than the focal distance, sorry, more than the focal distance away, the image will be magnified. If it's at the focal distance, we didn't draw this one, but there is no image formed. And if it's less than the focal distance away, the image will form, but it will be virtual. And in that case, it will be upright and it will be magnified. So convex lenses, a little bit complicated, but concave lenses, much more straightforward. There's only one diagram on the back of your sheet because in the case of the concave lens, the image is always going to be the same. It's always going to be virtual. It's always going to be upright and it's always going to be diminished. So the rules are almost identical. Let me just show you how we do them. The first ray is the one that goes parallel to the principal axis from the top of the object, as before. But this time, because this is a diverging lens, we track back, instead of going to the right and down through the focal point, we track backwards to the left and through the focal point. 
And because I'm tracking backwards, again, I draw with a dotted or dashed line. There we go. And I can extend that outwards to the right of the lens, and then we can see the diverging effect going on. My second ray is exactly the same as it always has been. It goes from the top of the object through the center of the lens and just keeps going. And again, we can see that those two will not cross to the right side of the lens. So there's no real image, but if we look back on the left side of the lens, we can see where they do cross, which is about here. And we can see our image. And as I said, virtual, it's on this side of the lens. And uh, it's uh, the, the ray that went parallel is not really touching it. And it's upright and it's diminished. And all concave lens images will be the same. So convex, there's a few different ones to remember. Concave, there's only one. But the rules are very simple. Remember, you only need to draw two of the three rays. The rules are on the worksheet on the concave side and on the convex side the only difference for the concave side being that that ray goes parallel and then down through this focal point and extends outwards whereas for convex across parallel and then down through the focal point on this side the center lens uh, center ray straight through the middle where those two cross that's where your image will form just keep an eye on it. And remember, it's either real or virtual. It's either inverted or upright, and it's either magnified or diminished. Good luck.